Hold on. It's gonna be fun. Oh, air conditioning. Yes, air conditioning. Hello there. So just for fun, we have no intention of ever buying anything like this. But you wanna see what one of these looks like inside? Get down from there. Boom. Ah! <laughs> Repairs already and it hasn't even left the yacht lift. <laughs> I'm kind of late, Wait, I've got this. Easy peasy. Uh-oh, we ran out of gas. Uh-oh. Yeah, we sure did. Open that baby up. Come on in, honey. Welcome e home. EECC travels. Gangsta style. Gangsta style. Thor. So we are out looking at RVs again. Um, we did this a few weeks ago and now we're on round two. Um, we're right off the interstate, so it's quite loud right here. See you later, honey. Get down from there. Looks good. Cool. All right, come on, let's-, let's Perfectly sealed. All my seals. Looks well, brand new. All right, let's go take a look inside this one. Potentially looking at our new rig here. I don't like all the swirls on it, but. Come on. What's an RV without the uh, the absurd, crazy graphics? <laughs> Welcome. Power stuff. This is that, that new ultra leather that they're talking about. It feels like cloth, but it wipes like leather. Me and Elisa really like this one a lot. This this is no slide outs. I mean, the only slide out, there's one slide out, and it's back here in the bedroom. We'll show you that in just a second. But this is the dinette. This is where we would eat and work. Kitchen, double sink, oven. And we also have a convection microwave oven too. So we have the best of all three worlds. Do you know what that means, Jason? I do. That means I can cook pizzas. Tony's, Tony's pizzas, pizzas. Which is our favorite. <laughs> and then it's got a three burner cooktop um, with a nice little cover that you have right here. Uh, nice backsplash. Yeah. You know? Colors nice. are real good. Feels of good quality. So this one is a class C, meaning it's got the cab over and you can drive right inside. It's an F450. So I'm not sure if that's a V8 or a V10, but it is gas, not diesel. So here's your freezer. Oh yeah. Can hold plenty of Tony's pizza. I don't know if it's there. wide enough. You just take the shelf out and stand them up. Stand them up. And basically we're gonna open this up and just stack them all the way across. <laughs> we don't need that much junk food. Yeah, look at the size of this freezer. Yeah, that's nice. Bathroom. Go stand in that shower. I'm a small dude, so I love that because I don't have any problem really being comfortable in just about anything. Nice size shower. Yeah. Sink, vanity. Nice storage in here too. Plastic, not China. That's all right. Plenty of uh, room for uh, pooping. <laughs> a nice bath and then here's the bedroom this is where the magic happens okay jason ethan <laughs> that was a shout out to my boy ethan here's the one slide out right here this is slid out right now yeah. so it gives you that more room whenever you slide it in you're going down the road this bed would just fold up like this yeah yeah so not bad lots, lots of, of storage. storage look at the size of this closet that's like you can I, I can literally get in there yeah you can that's insane lots of drawers and it's it's really good quality you know we've been in a bunch of them and god there's these some of these things are built terribly this is feels nice yeah this is a little more a lot more expensive than what we were wanting to do but when you get in one of these things it's it's hard not to fall in love yeah and then it's got the the bunk above the cab it has a huge bunk now this lays down and this covers this to make a double bed. And then this here, you'll take the ladder and just fold this down like that. Put your ladder. Oops. Put it in there. Climb up there into the bed. And 
And you can die and watch TV. And you got a TV right here that's on a swivel. Yep. A lot of space here. Yeah, this is a really nice size coach. And it's only 22 feet long. It's only 22 feet long. It's a mighty 22 feet long. Yeah. And, uh... And you can, we're so short, we could just leave that cab down if we want it. It's got a nice cab, nice uh, ultra leather seats with armrest, nice uh, backup camera, a uh, nice big, looks like a nine or a 10 inch screen for your uh, navigation. And I'm not sure if this has Apple CarPlay or not, but as long as it's got a navigation, that's helpful. Yeah. Nice rig. It is. Yeah, this. too busy to come work with us which is actually fine for us because we wouldn't be able to video if we had a salesman in tow so we're gonna go find the ones we like and then go hunt down a salesman and then we can go from there if we want to get prices and stuff like that see here's my thought I love the way it looks from the back it's clean white why do they have to put all of those ugly swoopy decals all over it it would be so much prettier without those decals just to kind of give you an idea of the size dealership we're at there are quite a few um, and this is light inventory but there's still plenty to choose from and we're gonna go look at some of those uh, travel trailers too we haven't decided which we want are you a little sweaty this is uh, pretty stupid to RV shop in August. Well, it's now September. September today is what? September 2nd. Yeah, September 2nd. It is hot, you guys, here in Louisiana. As you can tell, when you walk into these things, there's no keys. They're not on. So it's like an oven. All right, here's another one. We've already been in this one, but we wanted to show you guys. This is on the same lines of what we're looking for. Something between 22, 23, 24 feet. This is the Tiffin Way Affair. No, this and, one's not a Tiffin. Yeah, Tiffin makes that. So let's go in and look at that one. The designs on this one are uh, a little more toned down. Yeah, the graphics aren't as crazy and wild. It sits on an uh, G350. So that's gonna be a V8. Ford chassis. This would be a V8. Nice rig. This rig's got no slides. This has absolutely no slides whatsoever. It's got the corner bed. Your vanity right here is not in the bathroom. So your vanity's right here, so somebody could be out, Lisa could be brushing her teeth out here while I'm actually in the shower. So I like that kind of idea. Um, this one's not as roomy and as big feeling as that. Right, it's not. So, and that's only a 22. I know, that's what's so amazing about that one. But big closet, Mm-hmm. Very big closet. Lots of storage space in both units. It's got the double fridge. It's got the double fridge. I like kind of the handle on this one. You just you I pull, do too. You pull the handle. That's that's. I like that better than yeah. pulling with it the other way. You got a nice little dinette table here that also makes down into a bed. And you got a black table, which the black, kind of like it. I do too. The colors in here are good. Yep. And you have um, a big, huge, basically queen size bed up here no tv but the tv mount is up here in the corner so it would be on a swivel out here and you could swivel it around watch it up here or watch it from the bed might be a little bit hard to see from the bed but um that would be an issue but yeah. not too bad but uh, you got a nice little seat here and they have seat belts 
There's seat, a seat belt there. And this. And there's seat belts here for extra passengers. So you can walk down in here, get down in here. Nice cab area. Lots of uh, little nooks and crannies to put stuff See, in. See, I would think this one is less expensive than the other one. We don't know prices on anything No, we yet. have no idea yet. Um, and the salesmen are just, there's people all out, all out here. You know, RV business is going crazy right now, so they're busy with people. And we're just next in line, I guess. Yeah. But uh, we really wanted to just kind of look at them for ourselves anyway, and uh, then talk to the salesman. But we like this one too. Um, this one's not quite as elaborate. Probably going to be less expensive. It's got the smaller motor. It's not quite as fancy. But this one, and it has no slide outs, but this one's very functional. Mm -hmm. It is. It feels very good. And show that giant cargo space down there. So the one thing that's good about these corner bed units is you get this huge cargo space underneath the bed yeah it's massive like two people could climb in there the only thing i don't like oh yeah here we go yeah that's cool yeah big storage they already got a hose in there spare tire you can put stuff all up in here mm -hmm. it's even got a light and a plug-in oh yeah no awning. Yeah, no awning. No awning, no TV. This is like the stripped down model. Yeah. <laughs> you pay extra for those things. Okay, so interesting fact, all of these, one, two, three, four rows of RVs, these are all here for repair or warranty. I need to stop. I those are not for sale. So that means there's a whole lot of RVs here that are getting something fixed on them. And Lord knows how long that's going to take. Ooh, that's kind of scary to think about. So just for fun, we have no intention of ever buying anything like this. But you want to see what one of these looks like inside? Well, I may have intentions, but my, my bank has other intentions. <laughs> these are monster buses. Open that baby up. Come on in, honey. Welcome home. EECC -E travels. Gangsta style. Gangsta style. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you got a full sofa here. The love seat here. Giant, what, 60 inch TV? Oh, and there's another, what, 40 inch TV there. That's just crazy. Plus, you've got the dinette. Check out this kitchen. I mean, that's like a nicer kitchen than in most people's homes. Bathroom number one. Half bath, yes. Because, Doors you know. Are solid. Full you residential know. refrigerator. It's a big freezer. Again, nicer than what we have at home. Pantry. Pull out pantry. Another big, huge TV. Another TV. That's what, about 50 inch or so? Big, huge bathroom. King size bed. Pocket doors. And look at this bathroom. This bathroom's nicer than the one in my house. Uh, that's kind of just insane. And that is not plastic. No. And open, oh, double sink. Yeah, double sink. And open that slide. Yep, that's a washer and dryer. In the biggest closet. Oh, with a safe, because safe. when you're this rich, you need a safe. Yes. <laughs> if uh, this thing costs probably twice what, or twice or three times what our house costs, yeah. it's just insane, but it's fun to look at. Yep. Okay. So this is trip number three out RV shopping. We get a little further south Louisiana every time we go out. We did look a little bit in Alexandria, but we didn't take the camera with us that day because it was an impulsive kind of thing. Um, but we are going all the way to Hammond, Louisiana this time because there's two big uh, dealerships down there, Berryland and Dixie. So we're gonna go check them out today. We did a little pre-looking on their websites to see what they have. And they've got quite a few of the small size motorhomes that we're looking at and smaller travel trailers all right we finally made it here at dixie rv camping world in hammond louisiana this is our first stop this place looks huge looks like there's a lot to choose from so i'm excited to see what we can what we can find 
I know, so we're gonna go around with a salesman first and then we'll break out the camera afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, we don't we don't want to do the camera thing with the salesman with us, but we'll definitely um, after the fact go in the the good ones. I'm a nervous and I'm excited all at the same time. Gosh, here we go. Oh Lord. Uh, all right, Jason, ooh, what are we in today? I like this one. This is a Thor Compass. It's uh, on the Ford Transit front end chassis, and it's really cool. I really like it. Small, compact, but it's got everything that we're looking for. Um, we got the, uh, thank you. it's got, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. It's got nice countertops. Look at this sink. Big, huge. That is a big sink. Round sink. And, uh, nice faucets. We've got the breakaway. Nice burner. Two stove. Two burner top stove. Yep. Big window here. Convection microwave oven, nor cold refrigerator, little freezer, lots of storage. All lots of here. storage, yeah. It's got uh, ducted air. Uh, there's your fantastic fan. Uh, this is a uh, electronic visor. It comes open as a big skylight right there. This is your dinette. We have ample storage underneath it. Your bed. Okay, this is a this is a fold up bed. So this is a slide. This whole piece is on a slide, yeah, which gives you a lot of room. So when you're driving, it's going to come in quite a bit, and this will fold up, and you have more storage. Nope. Yeah, there's drawers underneath here. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, here's your wardrobe closet. I can get it open. It goes all the way across in here. I'm kind of going fast because they're warm. It's really hot in here. Yeah. Lots of storage. We've got a TV back here, privacy curtain, and your bathroom. A lot of, a uh, lot of room. Plenty of room, and you got the curtain here too. So if you got to stretch out a little bit, you know, you got some give in the curtain there. It's a pretty nice bathroom. Yeah. Plastic toilet though, um, but ample space in here. Yep. Very nice. I really like this unit. I love the way it looks. Yeah, I like the TV's already mounted. You don't have to buy another TV. Uh, it's got the uh, big screen. Go sit in the big driver's. Screen. It's got the navigation oh, and all that. Yep. And this has got that like ultra leather or whatever yeah. they call it. Feels really good. Yep, this is a nice unit. Yep, feels nice. Let's go look at it outside. So this is the Thor Compass. Yeah, it's on the Ford Transit. Good looking little rig. And it, see how clean it is on top without that extra bunk like a Class C has. Small where you can get in anywhere and it sleeps four, so that's awesome. But yeah, see we've got a line of RVs here to look at. This one, and then these are the Big Daddy expensive Tiffins. We're gonna go in those in a second too. What do you think, Jace? This is a 23 footer. 23. Yeah, this is 23 TW. Uh, I really like this one quite a bit. Um, the the Tiffins are going to be really kind of out of our price out range. Of our price range. Yeah. And see this one, this has the graphics on it. As this has full body paint, I think. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is this is full body paint. This isn't actually graphics. This is painted in. Where this is basically just like a sticker. A decal. So you already got a couple of issues with the decals even. Yeah. Well, what? Nice rig, I love holding all. Yep. Yep. All right, so this is the compass with the slide in. This is what it looks like with the slide in. And I'll show you, and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside with the slide in as well. Here we go. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the slide in. Hold that. So you can see it's a narrower box, but it's a smaller, more compact unit, which is what we're looking for, but you can still, it's manageable. When you drive yeah. it down the road, you can still get to the bathroom, 
still get the refrigerator to make yourself a sandwich or whatever. See? Yeah, walk to the bathroom, open the door. Yeah. And you can still open the refrigerator if you need to get something. Also benefits of being small. Yeah. We can fit pretty much anywhere. Well, Lisa found something she likes. This is cool. So we're in the really expensive tiffin, but we had to look at it. But look, so this is a small sofa that's usually a jackknife. But when we pulled on it, it came all the way out to this. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it's almost like a Murphy bed. Yeah. Or one of those, a real pull-out couch. Yeah. So this is cool. So these are the upper um, pieces here. So to pull it back down. Let's see if... Let's see if Elisa can figure this crap out. You can figure it out. Watch the cushions. <laughs> <laughs> she figured it out. She almost got thrusted through the window, but she figured it out. <laughs> but that's cool. That's super cool. And then there's a bed up here. You can pull that down. Pull that down. And then you take your, your ladder here and put it down right there. It holds it down. There's your TV. I love this. Very nice unit. Solid surface countertops. Interesting unit. Yeah. Do not have a 22J. Okay, no 22J. Okay, I was mistaken this then. This is neat. So the, I, this pulls all the way out. That was cool. Yeah. yeah. Walk through back here. I'm going to show you. This is like the twin bed? Yeah, it's a twin bed here. And does this, is there a piece that will make this into a king? Yes. That's what I figured. Well, got windows all the way around. Hello. I'm just trying to lay down, stay out of the shot. But check out how the bathroom works. Uh. Okay, so your shower is here and it's just like, oh my God, exposed shower. But this door opens. And closes like that and now you have one big huge bathroom yeah so it makes a big walk uh walk through bathroom yep, so there's your toilet china oh yeah for this amount of money it is very nice uh bathroom um medicine cabinet and then hello there yeah, and that's cool. It's that one that slides all the way back it's in. It's microbial. Yeah, so it squeeze, squeezes, squeezes the water it off. Whenever you close it. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's a really cool floor plan. Yep. And I'll show you guys what this one looks like on the outside. If you'll grab our waters. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. This is, uh, this is the one with the full body paint. This is a Tiffin Wayfair. Wayfair. So what's the... On price? the Mercedes-Benz chassis. This one here is gonna MSRP on that's gonna be about 150, 150,000. So the sell price, you know, I don't know. Let's see, probably that you're gonna spend 100, 110,000 on this thing probably. We really like this one. It's a little more obtainable, not quite obtainable, but you know how that goes. It's a toy. Really like the little compass here. And then uh, this is what we looked at in Brobridge the other day, the Jacobs. This has got that really classic RV look, you know, really classic RV look. This is a little bit more modern and sleek, you know. I'm okay with either, to be honest with you. Elisa tends to like more towards this styling. She likes this kind of chassis and front end as opposed to this. She's not a big fan of all the swoops and the graphics. Although this has some swoops and graphics, it's not near as intense as these right here. <laughs> now this is a little bit more toned down right here. As you can see, it's got the swoops and the graphics, but this is manageable, she says. So, I mean, I just say embrace the graphics, embrace the swoops. Looks like a giant Power Ranger going down the road. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the Jayco Red Hawk. Look at all this storage right here. Same layout as the Compass, 
but we can we're trying to decide which is right for us this one's wider on the inside well the box yeah the box that sits on the chassis is a little bit wider the compass is a little more narrow he's going to the salesman's going to get his measuring tape so we can just see how much narrow already he's, he's saying it's just minor but doesn't feel minor you know when you're talking inches that extra edge feels huge yeah when you're spending a lot of time in these things yeah so look at where jason is and this this part does not have a slide so this is how it is all the time right here yeah this this has no slide here this is how it is all the time and that slides in i showed y'all it's, it's very narrow it's a little bit more narrow it's more about like to right here yeah so you have about this much space yeah. where you can still walk mm -hmm. and get to the bathroom and get to the um, refrigerator and do what you gotta do, but not quite as comfortably. Yeah. You know, for more money. Here's the thing, that the smaller the unit, the more compact, the more higher the demand is. That's what people want because they're just easier to, to manage and, and drive around because you don't wanna have to worry about towing a vehicle and all that, that's gonna be your vehicle. So you want something small and maneuverable that you can go down into town with yeah and flip that bed down so this is how the bed is out here well it's, it's on a, oh it's it's wrapped up it's okay wrapped up. but see it's the same type of bed little flip up bed it's not quite as sleek and sexy no. inside it's, it's homey it's homey feeling mm -hmm. comfortable feeling it's a little more modern and sexy you know over there but it's all really what you want yeah um i like either i like both of them to be i like honest. that fridge <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No, let's go and then here. on this one, we've got the full over cab bunk. You don't, you don't have, we'd have to uh, upgrade. Yeah, no, no display I'd screen. I'd have to in put an one. Apple CarPlay. I'm so spoiled in my Apple CarPlay. Yeah. And let's look at them side by side outside. So this is the Thor Compass, and this is the Jayco Red Hawk. Ignore all the dead bugs on top, but just look, just the outside difference. So this is what they consider a Class B it doesn't have that big over cab and this is a true class c but small this one was 90 and three quarters inches wide a little under uh it's about seven and a half feet this one here was about eight and a half feet so, so it's, it's close 10 10 12 inch, inch difference um which is huge yep <sighs> it's harder than blazing hell how's my hair good Jason brought extra t-shirts this time. I brought extra t-shirts. I brought <laughs> towels. I brought deodorant. I brought <laughs> glide. So here we are. He's got the, he's doing one more walk around the salesman. He's got the AC going and uh, we're about, he's going to drive us out to the parking lot and then we're going to take over from there. Or I'm going to take over from there and we're going to hit the road to Jack on our very first test drive. I'm so excited. I'm nervous. I'm excited. And, this unit and I'm is excited. awesome. Oh, I'm totally excited. You're totally excited. Oh, yeah. I've got this. Easy peasy. Uh-oh, we ran out of gas. Uh-oh. Yeah, we sure did. <laughs> we ran out of gas. The generator will only run down to a quarter of a tank, and that's where we're at. Oh, Whoopsie. no! Okay. We just yep. lost our AC. Yep. Heading out to the parking lot. And I'm going to take over. See how this baby drives. They're actually very, very fun to drive. Very easy to drive, very fun to drive. Yep, so far so smooth. Yeah. Surprisingly smooth. Not like those 1976 Winnebago no, Braves no, that I grew no. up in. And this is actually the worst that this coach is going to ride and drive. Right here. When the coach is empty. That's the worst ride, the worst drive. As okay. You, as you start putting your stuff in it, such as fuel, water, and cargo. Weight it down. As it gets heavier, it rides better, and it drives better, and it handles better. So right now, empty, this is as, as bad as it gets. And it ain't bad, folks. And it's not bad. So if you can handle this, you'll definitely be able to handle it loaded down. So we're gonna do two types of driving. We're gonna hop on the interstate, and go down to the next exit, and then we're gonna circle back around and come up back road so you get kind of both styles of driving. Perfect. Who's driving? Okay. That'd be me. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. This is going to be fun. Oh, air conditioning. Yes. 
Air conditioning. That's manual. I'm going to go to drive. Awesome. We're going to go to the end of the driveway and take a ride, okay? okay. Everybody bump it up and yep. all is well? Yes, hey, sir. You see your camera up there? I do. The rear view mirror and then your GPS Easy does it. Nice, nice and easy when we go down the road. Oh no, we're gonna open this up here. <laughs> Where's the turbo button? <laughs> There's that looks like a turbo button. <laughs> what, what, whatever that is, yeah. it looks like a turbo button. I think it's something to do with the track. Which way are we going again? We're gonna take a right. All right. How's it feel? Yeah, it's smooth. It's like driving a van or a big truck or something like that. It feels natural. It feels good. You know, it feels like it felt driving up in the Forerunner, sort of. Except you got a house on the back. <laughs> could I drive it? Oh, yeah. I could? Oh, you yeah, think? I think so. Oh, no doubt about it. Cool. Women make better RV drivers than men. Really? I've been scared by more men than I have women. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're at the next stop. Y'all, we almost bought that compass. We held off. It's like a tease to drive that thing and not be able to take it home. It's like losing a girlfriend or something. It's a little somber, but probably the best thing, the best thing that we could have done. But now we are here at, what's the name of this place? Berryland Campers. And this is one of the bigger dealerships in, uh, in South Louisiana. And so it looks like they have a great selection in their inventory here. So we're gonna go um, check these out. You wanna know what I'm excited about? There's a Regency right there, which is just like the leisure travel vans that I'm in love with. Yeah. We They're... ain't buying it, it's too expensive, but yeah. I wanna see the inside of that thing. Here we go. My dream coach. I don't know if this is the right layout. It is the Murphy bed. It has the Murphy bed? It does. This is the one she really likes. Because she doesn't like all the graphics and swoops and swirls, and this one's a little more sleeker looking. This thing's more expensive than our house. It's more expensive than our house. Oh, I can take this off if yeah. nobody's around. Oh, man. Oh, this is, we've seen these on, so, on TVs for so long. Now the Regency is the American version, I think, and Leisure Travel Vans is the Canadian, but it's the same floor plan, same type of If we had unit. some power here, this is a TV and I know it just comes up automatically and it's yeah. like a like a big TV, like 42 yeah, inch see, TV. see here's the TV down here. Yeah, see here it is but right it here. it pops up. And then it pops up right here. Yeah, there's your control panels right here. You can do it both ways, it's the skylight. That's a screen. Day and night. That's a screen. This is uh, ducted air. It's got LED lights all throughout it. And this is your Murphy bed. Yeah, but you have to, let's see. How'd you do that? A little trigger on the side there. Boom. <laughs> That's nice. And your TV's right there. TV's right here. Now some of them come with like recliners and they have like a little dinette table. This is just a full couch, but. Squeeze it in there, honey. Oh. There it goes. Ah! Is that not the most badass thing you've ever Battery's seen? Battery's going dead. Yep, that's cool. I'll sit down and pull that, kick that out. Yeah, sit here. All right. So you just press the button and the TV goes up and down. Yep, going down, going down. Okay, so to make, 
to do the Murphy bed. Got it. You lay this flat. Lay this flat. And then unlatch it here. Unlatch it here. Lay it down. And this just folds. And then the, there's your bed right there. There's your bed right I there. I think the Murphy beds are just so smart. And you got a window, which it's hidden when the Murphy bed is up, but at least at nighttime, if you want to, you're boondocking somewhere or yeah. somewhere where it's dark and you can see the stars while you're sleeping, that'd be great. And then the cool thing with the Murphy bed is you can put all your sheets and blankets and everything on there and then you just fold it up. Fold it back up. Turn the latch. And then boom boom you've transformed your coach i just love this thing we can't afford it but i love it <laughs> but look, oh watch this. this watch this i can open the fridge from this side or i can open the fridge from that side we've been watching youtube videos y'all <laughs> Convection oven. Oh, check this out. Pantry. That's cool. That's a nice pantry. These things are so sexy. And you should talk about it like that guy does for I'm the, not as the good salesman as him. for uh, for leisure. For I'm leisure. not as good as him. But come check this out. Big closet plus the drawers and then bathroom. Oh, look! This goes all. This storage goes all the way down in here. And then storage up here. Look at the corner bath. <laughs> Do a spin for us, honey. Uh oh, we're not level. No, that's big okay. bathroom. Oh, Rear and bath. it's got a pocket door. Mm -hmm. And look, we're both in the bathroom. Yep. Most coaches, two people cannot fit in the bathroom. This, this is so it nice. is hot up in yeah. here, y'all. Oh, this is sweat me off my face. Super cool, super nice, super swanky. Yeah. So, for one hundred and fifty million dollars, it's about one hundred and sixty thousand. Oh, I was a little off. Yeah, but and oh. then look here, the floor comes down right. Oh here. yeah. So after you get in the RV and you're heading down the road. You won't slip in that little hole there. Yeah, that makes sense when you've got the Murphy bed walk around. Yep. And this is uh, sitting on the Mercedes Benz chassis, the Sprinter front end. This is just such a sexy little coach. Oh, I love it. Can't afford it, but I love it. Oh, let me turn this off. Don't see it from outside how pretty it is. See, just look how, how pretty. It doesn't have all those loud graphics. You know, when you get to this price point, you get that sleek. Mm, it's just pretty. Am I hot? Am I sweating? Smoking. It's hot. It's like literally 100 degrees. All right, so now we're in the Forest River Coachman Prism. Um, this is one of the cool features uh, on this. This is actual slide out that comes out. And this is your TV. Behind this wall is the bedroom. You can simply turn your TV around just like this and watch it in the bedroom. That's cool. How cool is that? Then it also acts as like a little partition wall and gives you some privacy. And then you slide it in right here. That's cool. And this dinette makes into a bed. Yeah, it's got a small little table, but it makes it easy to get in and around. Out. It's got a, yeah, U-shaped uh, dinette coke holders built into the side right here uh nice comfortable i'm just kneeling in it right now but it's soft yeah and this is a full wall slide so both the dinette and the bed slide out all right so we got that in yeah this feels real soft got plenty of uh cabinet space down here and it goes all the way to the back cool so it it, it covers the length of this here's your bed Looks like here you got a three burner top stove. With an oven. With an oven. And then you have a microwave oven too, Magic Chef. Don't know if that's convection or nah, not. Nah, it's not. It's just but, a microwave. Uh, undermounted sink. 
Looks Big like, workspace. Yeah, it looks like Corian uh, type countertops. Real nice solid surface. Uh, feels good. Construction feels pretty good and solid and sturdy. Lots of open space here. Um, refrigerator. Again, this one also has the double sided. Yeah, how do you? Oh, hang on. Maybe lock. This one's kind of wonky. Wonky. So is this one. Look. It won't open. But it opens from this side. But there's your freezer. This one opens from this side and this side. But this side's getting a little stuck. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Motorhome. Repairs yeah. already. Repairs already and even left the yacht. The lot hasn't even left the yacht. <laughs> Repairs already and it hasn't even left the yacht left. <laughs> All right, so here's your bathroom, plastic toilet, nice little sink, nice size shower. This it, is a nice unit. Yeah, it does have a step up right there. This has got to be fixed. Yeah, but lots oh, of storage. Look, door won't shut. Oh, we got a we got a boo boo. Oh, just gotta really force it in there. Yeah, you don't want that with a brand new. Yes. But other than that, <laughs> other than that, it's really nice. Ah. Uh, yeah, the chairs swivel around. Both both the captain chairs and the cabs swivel around. Got a bed above you. you Want to sit and chill and watch TV. Yeah, but folks, the, you know that's the thing. These uh, these these are essentially like land yachts. You know, yeah. the same companies that make the boats and wire the boats and build the cabins in the boats are the same companies that a lot of them are the ones that build these these uh, land yachts, these motorhomes, and um, it's a house on wheels. You know, things are gonna go out you just got to service them as they uh as they happen it's a toy yeah and this one what was the price on this one jason okay this one here the suggested retail is one hundred and twenty nine thousand five hundred and seventy four dollars and a nickel wow a whole nickel and here's the prism from the outside it's a good looking unit yeah that's the kind of look we're wanting to go for you know something on along the lines of this you know not the real classic boxy look. yeah not that something thing up more, there something a little more sleek sleek um i i would prefer the ford transit front end just because uh i've heard some bad things about the mercedes-benz chassis but yeah hey teach their own but the mercedes has got a sexy front end doesn't it yeah it's got the nice little front end yeah both of these are on mercedes here's a class b I can't do a class B because I cannot handle a wet bath. Now that's a pleasure way. That's a high dollar class B right there. Yeah, this is a pleasure way. Most of these uh, class B RVs are really it's super expensive and you get a wet bath. So you don't have a separate shower and toilet. The shower and the toilet is all in one room. That's what a wet bath is. Let's open this up and show what a wet bath is. So this is van life right here. No slides. Everything is very compact in one little area. This one, see, small unit, 127,000, and that's the sale price, not the MSRP. But here this is, is where a wet bath is. So here's your wet bath. So you can see, I mean, it gets the job done. I can't even, hold on. Let's see if I can we back up line. enough. It gets the job done, right? But here's your, here's your sink. Here's your shower. Here's your toilet. Porcelain toilet. But basically what you do is you shower or you shower, get wet, and put it back up here, and you scrubby scrub. <laughs> okay? And then you rinsey rinse. Everything gets wet. Close the curtain, of course, first. But that's what you do. You you do your business. And you get clean all in the same spot, which, man, that just seems weird. Then you gotta clean everything and wipe everything down when you're done. I just, I can't, I can't do a wet bath. I just can't do it. I could, but I gotta make sure Elise is happy. Yeah. So, we are on the way home. Both of us are on the way home. Which means we are not driving a new motorhome home. Nope. But did we buy one? I'm not telling. Maybe we did. Um, so here's what we did. Okay, one of the motorhomes that we have showed in this video, we put an order in for. Oh, big bump. So, 
Hold on, big bump. So man, the, the demand is really high for these right now. Man, and it is, man, it is super windy right now. Is. So I'm having to I'm having to focus over here. I've got both hands on the steering wheel. It's like a storm front coming in and it's like we're going upwind and it is pushing this uh forerunner around like nobody's business right now. That so, it is. Anyway. Back to Elisa. Back to Elisa. Okay, so here's what we did. We found one that we wanted, and the dealer here in Louisiana had a price, and he told us what his price was, and so I got on RV Trader. Whoops, big bump, hold on, let's get past this bump. Jason, you'll have to edit that. Okay, so he gave, the dealer here gave us our, his best price, and I got on RV Trader, which is an app that shows RVs that are for sale all over the country. And I found that a dealership in Texas had 11 of the exact same unit listed, same year, same make, same model, some, same trim for $10,000 less. So we asked the dealership in Louisiana if they could match the price and they said they could not. So I called the dealership or we called the dealership in Texas, talked to the guy there and those are all on order. So basically, you put your name on one, you put a small deposit down, and when it comes in, then you drive over, pick up your unit, and finalize all the paperwork. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, so we went into this really, really wanting a, a B plus, and we were looking at B pluses, we were looking at Cs, we looked at Bs, but I just can't do a wet bath, so that's a big no. Um, and we found one the other day in Brobridge we really liked, it was a small C, and for the price they were asking for that, we got this one for the same price and it's a much, much nicer unit. So all will be revealed. Um, just keep on watching and um, you'll find out. Now here's the hitch. It's, gonna, it's not gonna be ready until November or December. We're gonna get a delivery date sometime next week um, to know exactly when we're getting our new motorhome, but it's ours. We're so excited! I'm so excited that I just came home. You know, I gonna finish the song? I'm about to lose control and I think I like <laughs> it. Yep, we're, we're totally excited. Can't wait to reveal which one we chose to you guys. And uh, you guys get to watch our silly butts learning be a lot of growing pains. Jason's out there going to be trying to level this thing and it's going to be crazy. Crazy fun though. Yep. Crazy cool. I'm uh, I'm anxious. Super anxious. So I got to get to learning how to do all this stuff. I'm going to have to cue some uh, YouTube videos on how to dump the shitter. <laughs> most worried about is how to em empty the tanks <laughs> oh man we're just this is something we've always wanted and we were just gonna wait until later in life and then you know there's no time like the present so why not do it now that's right we're live now so let's go live it <laughs> <laughs>